This is a verbal complement to a report that will be written on a crucial area of neuroscience, time perception. Perception of time is controlled by the brain, and the passing of time may appear to speed up or slow down in response to administered medication, stimulation of specific areas of the brain, and the occurrence of specific events. Several volunteers agree to be constrained in a controlled environment, where a gun would be secured to the ceiling and would be made to face the subject who would be lying down. The gun would appear to fire. In reality, the firing would be an illusion, created by a simultaneous flash of light and accompanying sound. The stimulus would still cause the subject's perception of time to slow greatly. Functional magnetic resonance imaging scans were taken during the experiment and they were used to determine the areas of a brain involved in altering time perception. The basal ganglia and parietal lobes were found to be heavily involved, whereas, contrary to existing belief, the cerebellum remained largely inactive during the experiment. I have agreed to take part in the second experiment. As I speak, the top part of my skull is being removed to allow for deep electrical stimulation of my brain. The regions indicated by the fMRI scans will be stimulated within my own brain. I will report what I experience. As I wait for the procedure to fully begin, I will discuss one of my favourite theories. I am unaware of the true title of this theory, or even if it has a name, but being melodramatic, I like to call it the eternal coffin theory. As a person approaches death, or rather some threatening stimuli suggests that the person is approaching death, then time will appear to slow. As time slows, their brain activity will appear to be greatly increased. Their brain will be able to carry out more actions in the same space of time. As time continues to slow, the person will effectively never die. They will never reach the event of their own death. They will constantly relive the events leading up to the death, over and over and over. And as time continues to slow, they will be able to relive the events a second time. This time within their own memory of what occurs, or within the first recounting of the events. They will relive the events a third time, a fourth time, a fifth time. Each recounting taking place in a deeper layer of the conscious. The time will gradually slow and will slow and will slow, and they will be able to recount the... the it will be able to recount the events more and more times. Essentially, they will be trapped in this cycle forever. But this is likely to be conjecture. After all, if a subject nearly dies but survives the event, what would happen to their consciousness? By this theory, they would be left hollow and emotionless. They would be empty. Their mind would always be cycling the events leading up to their supposed death. There would be nothing left. I... I feel an overwhelming sense of dread. Time slowing. The dread gets more unbearable as it slows. I... No, stop. Stop the experiment. Please. Stop it. Help. This is a verbal compliment to a report that will be written on a crucial area of neuroscience, time perception. Perception of time is controlled by the brain, and the passing of time may appear to speed up or slow down in response to administered medication. Stimulation of...